Hello everyone, forecaster Andre Brooks here with your 2019 to 2020 winter season forecast. And we got some things that we got to talk about what's going to be upcoming this winter. Firstly, we have Enzo neutral conditions. And with that, we're also going to be seeing a negative NAO NAO in the United States. And also, we're going to be call, having a lot of warm Gulf of Mexico water temperatures. And all this is going to be setting up for a cooler and wetter east and a drier and warmer west. So taking a look at the Enzo state, right now we are in a Enzo neutral condition. And this means that we're neither above or below average of what our water temperatures are in the equatorial Pacific. So this is going to play a key role on the influence in our weather in the United States. So there's really no deep trough or deep bridge that's going to be setting up over the United States due to this Enzo neutral conditions. But on top of that, we have warm Gulf water temperatures. If all this available heat in the Gulf of Mexico, this is going to cause for a lot of moisture from any storms that do develop over the winter to have a lot of moisture with it. And with that, that's going to cause precip chances to go up even further with that. And on top of that, we're going to be seeing a NAO that is in a negative state and an AO in a negative state. And what that means is we're going to be seeing a trough that's going to be digging into the eastern United States for most of the winter. This is not going to be a main dated pattern that's going to be here 100%. But for most of the part, most of the time, we're going to be seeing this trough that's going to be persistent in the east. And what that's going to be bringing is, again, that warm water from the Gulf of Mexico pulling in energy that's going to be causing a lot of systems to go on in the Midwest, Northeast, and even potentially parts of the South as well. And we're going to be seeing a ridge that's going to be dominating for majority of the nation that includes parts of the southwest parts of the plains even the southern plains so this is what our pattern is shaping up and with all these ingredients combined the precipitation forecast is looking above average for the eastern part of the united states and that includes parts of the south the midwest and the northeast and average for the central part of the country and this is going to cause for below average precipitation in the west and the temperatures are going to be reflective of that we're going to be seeing below average temperatures in the south and into the midwest and the northeast and average average temperatures in parts of the central and the northwest part of the united states and above average temperatures in the western united states and for the very first time, I'm in introducing a snowfall potential forecast for this winter. And based on all this research, I have concluded that we'll see an above average chance. This is relative to average. This is not an exact forecast of snow. There is an above average chance of seeing snow in parts of the south and the Midwest and the Northeast during this winter, an average chance in the central part of the country into the Northwest, and then a below average chance for parts of the West. So please stay safe this winter, and we're going to continue to keep you posted here. And with that being said, I'm forecaster Andre Brooks with your winter weather forecast for this winter. Everyone have a great day. God bless you.